Hey everyone, Scratch War here. Today we're going to be animating a Scratch cartoon. Uh, before we hop into that, a shout out to this person here for always being so supportive. And if you want a shout out, all you have to do is comment on a few of my videos and like. And I will notice. Let's get straight into it. Okay, now here, first up, we want to get our sprites and backdrops ready. So, scroll down and delete scratch count and then choose a sprite. We're going to choose a ghost and dog too, because there are four dogs. We're going to program the dog first. First up, we're going to go to, a, to the advanced category and drag a wang green flag clicked. And in the motion category, drag a point in direction 90 block. So this just points in direction 90. So at a 90 degree angle is right. And then we're going to grab this go to X, Y. So we're going to go to X negative 224. Oh. And negative y negative 118 all right now that's done we're going to add a backdrop i should have done that before all right so we're going to choose castle 3 so with that set up now he's positioned and he's pointing in the right direction okay next we're going to make him walk a bit so in the control category Grab a repeat 10 block. And instead of 10, we're going to change it to 4. Now, in the motion category, move 10 steps. So, as we learned before, steps are just pixels in Scratch. So, it's going to move 10 pixels, then play some music. So, in the extension button, find the music. So, we're going to play drum 10. So, drum 10 is the wood block for 0.2 beats. And then we're going to switch to costume dog to C in, this, in the looks category. So, that just switches it to this costume, which if we go here, we can see is this costume. So, you see if we click on these two fast, it becomes a walking animation. So, that's what, what we're going to use. So we squish caution to that and then move another 10 pixels in the motion category and then play a bit more music but we're going to play drum 11 and that is cowbell for another 0.2 beats. I will explain the script after it's done and then lastly we're going to go in the look category and switch to dog 2 dash a so what this does is it sets it up by pointing in the right direction and positioning itself then repeats four times this script so moves 10 steps plays that music switches to this costume right now moves another 10 steps plays a bit more music and switches back to a and a is this costume you know what we'll name them all right now so it's not complicated so a b and c so it looks much cleaner and it's much more easier to explain okay so if we press the green flag so we have that little walking animation now we're going to duplicate this by right clicking but we're not going to use it yet so don't attach it to the main script we'll just drag this here all right next we're going to give him the creeps and what i mean by that is we're going to make him a bit suspicious okay so we're going to need to add a new sound so in this sounds tab click on this audio button 
which is choose a sound and we're going to search for door creak so if we play it that's certainly going to give our, our canine to the creeps okay so we'll start a new attaching underneath we're going to go to the sound category and get a play sound door creak until done so after we walk and stop here the door's going to creak well a creaking sound and then we're going to switch to costume c which is his confused look and then we're going to wait one second so in the control category wait one second and then switch back to a which is his normal default look which is what he is right now and then in the look category we're going to get a think hmm for two seconds so we're going to think so that's going to become a text bubble i'm not scared of ghost and we're gonna say that for one second so let's test what we did so far that's perfect let's continue now once again we're gonna use that script more than once so we're gonna duplicate it but this time attach it to this main script once again I made a mistake we are going to use this though so now for the clever bit you see how we saved this script well now it comes into play so we're gonna put this underneath this and you only need to change a few values so first thing we're going to change is the second instrument we're going to change it to number 13, which is bongo, for the same 0.2 beats. Now we're going to attach this again. But this time we're not going to play Door Creek, or even say, I'm not scared of ghosts. Oh, we are going to say that. Just, we're going to go to the Sounds tab and choose Spooky String. spooky so we're gonna play that spooky string switch costume to dog C yep wait one second switch costume to A still say I'm not scared of ghosts so this is what we have so far So, we have a walking animation, a bit of a sign from the ghost, another walking animation, and another sign from the ghost. But now, we're going to send, now we want the ghost to come. But how does the ghost know when to come? We're going to send a message to him. And the way we send messages in Scratch is by using the broadcast block. So, in the control events category, we're going to grab this block called broadcast message 1. So that just means send message one, but we don't want to call it message one. We're going to call it ghost. Oh my God. So now we want the ghost to come to play. So we're going to go back into the, we're going to go into the ghost sprites and now program him. So first we want to reset him in the beginning. Because we don't want him to show, and he needs to go in a certain position. So when green flag clicked, go to let's see, 161 for the X and negative 64 for the Y. Set the rotation style to left right. So that's in the motion category, and basically what that means is. Left, right means he can only point left and right. Don't rotate means he can't uh, rotate at all. He stays in the exact same direction. And all around means he can go a 360. So we're going to attach that underneath. 
get a point in direction 90 but change it to negative 90 so he's facing left and then hide because we don't want him to show so that's going to reset him in the beginning so if you now when he comes to play we're going to do something so remember the message we sent so now when i receive ghost the message that we sent we're going to wait two seconds in the control category and then play a new sound so we're going to go to this sounds category and play gong so if we use that in the sound but we're not going to use play sound until done as what that does is it wait it sorry it plays the sound and only when it's finished it does anything underneath but start sound gong it starts the sound and anything underneath will begin at the same time so we're gonna set the ghost effect see the pun so the ghost effect to 250 so he's invisible visually we're going to show him now this is actually not going to show him it will but it's going to set the ghost effect now the reason we want that so after that we can slowly make him appear instead of a sudden show hide so we're going to set the ghost effect to 250 and then in the control category grab a repeat 10 block change it to 50 and change ghost effect by negative 5 so that's slowly going to make him appear negative 5 times 50 well just 5 times 50 is 250 so it's going to completely reverse the effect and then we're going to send another message because after the dog sees the ghost we want him to be scared so we're going to tell the, go the dog now it's time for you to be scared so we're going to broadcast a new message we're going to call it scare. Well, the scare is actually... Okay, but let's just see what we've done before we move on to the dog sprite. Oh, that's why it's changed. I set it to color. It has to be ghost. And just another thing, we're going to clear all graphic effects. So that just clears anything we've done, like the ghost effect and anything, really. All right. Now that we, we've done that, in the dog, dog sprite, what's going to call it dog? Yep. We're going to get a when I receive scare. So when I receive scare, so when it's supposed to be scared, we're going to play sound screech. So we need to find that in the sound library. He, he gets pretty scared. So we start sound screech. Then we change. So in the motion category, we change the Y by 20. So 10 and then change it to 20. So as we know, the Y position is up and down. So we're going to make him go up by 20 pixels and then switch to the costume C. So he's confused. Wait 0 0.5 seconds. So we wait a bit and then we fall back down. So change Y by negative 20. Uh, where is it? Now, we're not making this pretty smooth like I would, but it's just an animation, and this is a beginner tutorial. So, And then, we're going to switch the costume to A, which is his normal look. So, let's play that. We're only going to play the scare by clicking on scare. 
Okay. So, pretty good skier, right? Finally, we're going to make him turn his tail around and then run away like a scaredy cat. So, first we're going to go to the motion category and set the rotation style to left right, which we know what that does. And then we're going to point in direction negative 90. So he's facing the left. And then repeat, repeat 20. So repeat 20. Move 10 steps. So in the other direction, move 10 steps. Then in the music category, play drum play drum 10 wood block for 0 0.02 beats pretty quick then switch his costume to B so that's his one of his walk animation costumes move 10 steps so this is the same uh, this is the same walking script as previously so move 10 steps play uh, play drum 13 which is cowbell or 0 0.02 beats oh it's bonga forgot sorry 0 0.02 beats and then switch costume to dog a i mean a and that's it we're done Hopefully it wasn't too complicated. I try my best to explain it as best as I can. Let's just clean up and clean up in here. Okay, now for the big reveal. Okay, so that was a blast. I've loved showing this tutorial with you guys. Th this link will be down in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe if, if you enjoyed the video. And if you had any troubles, put that put it down in the comments and I'll be sure to help. As always, Scratch Warrior out.